What is the role of lithium battery capacity? The produced lithium batteries cannot be sold immediately. They should be stored in the warehouse for at least 15 days. During this period, some inherent defects will appear, such as excessive self-discharge, etc., and the batteries that have reached the shelf life in the warehouse. After getting the order, take it out and test it again and divide the capacity again, that is to say, charge and discharge again, eliminate the capacity that does not reach the level or have quality problems, and then hand it over to the sales department with about 50% of the electricity. The cells that will be used for lithium battery assembly are reconverted into machine capacity. Through this process, some cells that do not meet the requirements can always be picked out and returned to the cell factory. After passing the mechanical test of lithium battery detection, it can be seen that the battery has been charged and discharged again, and there is electricity. So when you get the battery, there are two bars of electricity, which is normal. Each channel of the battery can be started and stopped at a single point, and the response speed is fast. Each channel has independent constant current source and constant voltage source, real-time sampling of current and voltage, and continuous switching between constant current and constant voltage without disturbance can be used for cycle life test. The classification and grouping of lithium batteries is to screen out the monomers with the same internal resistance and capacity for combination. When combined, only those with very similar performance can form a lithium battery pack. For example, in order to meet the energy requirements of electric vehicles, the power battery pack often needs to be composed of dozens to thousands of batteries. Affected by the complexity of the system, the performance of the battery pack has its own uniqueness. The sum of the performance of the single cells is not equal to the battery. Package performance. 